All connected, man. See, it's all it's all synchronicity. <laughs> or synchronicity too, depending on which one you like better. Hey. She really knows her album. <laughs> Favorite album of all time. Hurry up, say it before we go. I don't have one. Not even one not even rocks? Well, it'd probably be an Aerosmith one, but it's too hard to toys? choose. It's too hard to choose. Well, top two for me, Aerosmith wise, is Toys and, and uh, Rocks. Well, yeah, Toys has a special place because that's where it, the songs on that one are when I first heard them. Oh, was that your first album? No, I didn't. Well, I didn't have. I mean, I, I mean, first album of them. I mean, that's what you mean. That's what you yeah, said. Yeah. Sort of. Yes. How was that? How what did you? Did you hear a tune, and or did somebody give you the album and you just hit play? Well, no, I went. Um, my brother, he's five years older than me, so he used to listen to a lot of music in his room, and it'd be wafting out. And um, so one day I was sitting. You mean the music or the weed? Probably no, no. both, <laughs> both. And one day I was sitting uh, in the living room, and it had just been a sun shower, and so there was like dew on the grass from the sh sun shower you know little water droplets and there's lizards coming out because it's now the sun's back out and i'm s setting that picture because i'm i was just kind of like the little kid so i'm like looking out kind of daydreaming and all of a sudden this <clears throat> out of my brother's room is the sky singing "Ooh, it's a sunny day outside my window and he's repeating Whoa. it and i'm like okay and it just kind of fit what i was seeing and I never thought anything of it. I never asked him what it was because I was a little kid. I didn't. So you fast forward how, I don't know how long it was, but my mom took us somewhere and said, oh, you can buy, was allowing me to buy my first 45. Um, Whoa. And so I'm looking through the bin and she, I Before found, you left, did you, she make sure to get the little plastic things to- That's right, a little- <laughs> um, I forget what they were called. I know. I, I just I remember you used to it. put them on my middle finger and you go fling, flick them across yeah. the room. And uh, I found Wild Cherry and it played that funky music and it was like a cherry color. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And I knew that song. And then I grabbed this other one and it says Aerosmith Walk This Way. And I said, oh, I wonder if that's that song I've been hearing on the radio, which was probably why 100, because I mean, that they played top 40 but it they would have played that and I, i'm pretty i was hit, young yeah. enough that's probably what i was listening and i said i wonder if that's that song so i had the choice to, to buy the one that i knew um or this one that i didn't and of course i bought the one that i didn't that <laughs> makes perfect sense now but at the time i'm like yeah i'll have this one i have no idea if it's a song so i pop it on and sure enough it's the walk this way i've been hearing on the radio and then I flip it over to hear the B side and all of a sudden, Ooh, it's a sunny day. So you talk about your synchronicity and I was like, Oh, snip, Boom. snip the tether. I'm home. That was uncle salty. So, um, of course it was a song about, uh, <laughs> uncle salty is a song oh. about the girl who services sailor men, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> she's a hooker. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Exactly. I, just, I forgot. I was just doing great with you. Yeah. So that's that's how I came to know Aerosmith. Where's the rest of this moose? <laughs>